Well, yeah, of course. Uh, I'll try. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, you can't seem to hold down a mate. You date one person and then you're on to the next. Well, some people call it a revolving door of dating or serial dating. Singer Taylor Swift is described by many as a serial dater. Take a look at this picture. It's a bevy of boys that she's dated over the past couple of years. So how do you know if you are a serial dater and how do you break the cycle of dating one? Well, psychotherapist Patrick Scott hashes it all out. And first of all, Doc, uh, one surefire way you know that you're a serial dater is when you look at your bank account because <laughs> dating is expensive. Yes. Right? That's absolutely true. <laughs> but that's not exactly yeah. what you're here to talk about. Well, you know, it's a broad definition and it can be everything from the, the one night hookup to, you know, someone who just can't get beyond the honeymoon phase. Mm -hmm. People that are serial daters typically are all about that feeling of new, that feeling of excitement, that feeling. And when a relationship, as they all do, mm -hmm. evolves into something that has arguments and disagreements, sometimes they just don't want to uh, hang out for that. No, absolutely. The, the honeymoon phase is a good way right. of putting it. Is that, that that's got to be pretty challenging to get past that hump. That's got to be the biggest yeah. one when things kind of calm down a little yeah. bit and you really have to get through those arguments and still find fun. Right. And a lot of folks, and I'm hearing this from some of my younger patients that uh -huh. say that they do shingling where they've got Shing somebody on deck and it's like a shingle. So they know this one isn't going well, yes. but they've got one on deck that's uh, you know, next in line because they actually refuse to be single. They don't like their own company. They don't like to be alone. And somehow they define themselves by their relationships. And that isn't always very healthy. And yeah. so I don't, I get a lot of flack saying, well, you know, it's all about the men or it's all about the women. And really today we're talking about you, you know, if you, if you or anyone you know is, is dating and unhappy in these, and you notice it because you see your friends date the same person in different bodies. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you right. watch them go through the cycle. We aren't always so insightful to ourselves, but we've all, you know, many of us have done this as well. And you can see that they are actually a commitment phobic. When the relationship takes any sort of a turn, they actually get very, very focused on getting out of the relationship or finding another new, fresh someone to date. So how do you break the cycle? And again, this is something that is uh, people don't like to hear because they want to blame the person. Right. And if you notice that you are the only common denominator in all of these failed relationships, there's something that you need to do. And it's not about them. It's about you. And I have five tips or so. Yeah. I think it's important for you to discover new passions in yourself, things you like to do, things you like to do alone, things like you like to do because you like to do them, not accommodating a, a relationship. Right. Second thing would be nourish friendships. Yeah. You know, a lot okay. of people you know will get in a relationship and they drop out of sight. Yeah, you just, right. You don't see them anymore because now they're in the new relationship and only when they're struggling with the relationship or out of the relationship, they actually look, reach out for their friends and family, right? Okay. Third one would be mirroring kindness. And what this is, is actually self-affirmation. Liking yourself, loving yourself, right. doing Easy. kind things, saying nice things to yourself, okay. whether that be out loud to a mirror, as our famous Stuart Swalley from, from Saturday Night Live, right? Or just actually beginning to think kind things. Yeah. Your relationship doesn't define you, you define you, and you can attract from the inside out. We're out of time. Four and four is right, five is give thanks. Absolutely. We're going to be talking to you a little bit more uh, in future shows right. to catch up on this. Pa Patrick, thank you very awesome. much. We Pleasure. appreciate it. Uh, all right, Dr. Scott, we'll be back tomorrow, as I mentioned, to talk about how to help kids handle worry. All right, Monica, over to you.